hey guys so this video is going to be about uni uh, I have a lot of year 12 friends as well as my sister she's in year 12 as well who have asked me about uni and they suggested that I make a video so here I am gonna make a video for you guys so firstly I've got some questions that I'm gonna answer I got my sister to do some research for me um, okay so let's see what's the difference between high school and uni in terms of work and friends Okay, so in terms of work, I presume you mean workload. So the workload, it's less because in high school you had homework like every day, due every day, blah, blah, blah. But at uni, it, it depends on what course you're doing because it depends how many hours you have. Like it's called contact hours, but um, it depends how many hours you have to go to uni. So for my course, I only have to go to uni like 12 hours a week, whereas other people like double that. Yeah, so in terms of workload, I'd say the work is harder, obviously, since we're in uni. Um, but you guys, you're ready for it. Like, you'll be, you'll be fine. It's not going to be like, oh my god, I can't do this at all. Like, and what I suggest is make friends because you'll need help. You're bound, you're bound to need help. Um, yeah, friends. Um, I feel like when you enter uni, you... I'm not gonna. Most of you guys aren't gonna stick with the same friendship groups that you guys did have back in high school. A lot of people complete their friendship group completely changes, or they just their group gets smaller because you don't have as much time to see everyone, and also you don't see everyone every day. You're basically by yourself at uni, unless you're lucky to have like a friend with you. I think in uni, it's like the year of making new friends and also realizing who your true friends are. Or oh, I'm getting real deep right now, but basically. Um, you know, because you have such little time, you do know who your true friends are and that people change. So many, so many of my friends have changed and yeah, I just feel like it's a whole learning experience. So I hope that answered your question. Um, next, do I have to go to lectures and shoots? Yes. Okay. Lectures and shoots. A lot of people do not go to lectures. They're just like, oh, you don't need to go to the lecture. Like you can just watch it online. Okay. For me personally. I can't watch lectures online because I will literally fall asleep. Yes, I might fall asleep in the actual lecture itself, but I'm not sleeping like the whole time, you know, and it makes me feel a bit better that I'm at the lecture. But either way, I honestly think you should go to the lecture because one, most people who say, oh, I'll watch it online, don't actually watch it online. And they wait until the week before exam time to watch like 36 lectures. I don't think that's very productive. So... Yeah, I personally think go to the lectures. Even if you're, you're not even listening to like half of it, at least you get a glimpse of what you're actually learning about. Because sometimes, if you don't go to the lecture, you don't even know what you're doing in that course. Like, no, in that unit. You don't even know what you're doing, like what it is about, blah, blah, blah. You're basically, everything's new to you when you're studying for exams. Whereas if you go to the lecture, you get, a, you get a gist of what it is and you're kind of revising and cramming before exams. You know, it's better to go. I... I just think you should go to lectures and shoots. Most shoots are compulsory, so yes, you have to go to shoots. Next question is, what is a shoot? A shoot is short for tutorial. It's basically a class. So how uni works is there's lectures and there's tutorials. Tutorials could be called they could be workshops as well or labs or whatever. But um, tutorials basically it's a classroom with just like twenty kids I'd say, and a tutor which is the teacher. And basically, um, you go through questions most, most of the time. They have assigned questions that you have to complete before, so homework. And you come to class and you just correct the homework and go through it. And some, some classes, they go through activities. But yeah, so that's what a tutorial is. They don't teach you. So that's why you go to your lectures. They don't teach you what the stuff is. Unless, or they might teach you a little. But generally, they don't teach you. So yeah. Uh, what are contact hours? Oh, I already explained that. Um, yeah, contact hours, just the amount of hours you have to go to uni. What are exams like? Exams are basically the same as VC, I'd say. Um, the only difference is, well, for me, I'm obviously with my course, that's all I know, but uh, so usually you get a piece of paper and they have, they have like eight questions and you only have to answer like six questions out of those eight questions. And you get like an, an answer book, so you just write, like you write one, question one, and then you answer the question or whatever. I think that was a question. What's the question? As in it was, but it's like, we don't want to know how the questions are set out. <laughs> I, I thought it was different. Like, no, but like, we want to... <laughs> what the... 
What do you we mean? don't care about how it's set up. We're like, you know, obviously for year 12, like our exams, it's like we have so much pressure and this is like what we, you know, like our whole year is leading up to the exams. Like, is yeah. it the same for uni? Like, is it that? It is obviously serious. You, you want to pass, but yeah, I think that was the question. Okay, so I'll go again. All right, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, well, anyway, my sister interrupted me because she's filming for me, but basically she's saying that's not what the question is asking me. So, um, basically, what are exams like? So, it depends on the unit. So, for statistics, for example, uh, the exam is worth 70%. So obviously that means workload at like assessments or just like going to tutes or whatever, that's worth 30%. So that it so that shows you how much the exam is worth and how much more important it is for you to pass. And a lot of it depends on the uni as well, um, or the subject. And a lot so for example, Melbourne, they always have a hurdle. Like you have to get 50% at least on the exam to pass the, the whole unit. And, um, but for Monash, they have hurdles for some exams, but some don't have exams. But your overall grade, out of 100%, you need to get 50% at least to pass. So if you don't pass, so for example, if there is a hurdle, 50% hurdle, and let's say you've been getting high distinctions and you've been doing great, or even just passing in, in the unit, if you don't get 50% in your exam, you're going to fail and the highest mark they can give you is 48. So out of 100, like 48 is the highest mark and 50 out of 100 is the pass, right? So the highest they can give you is 48 and that means you have to redo the whole unit again. So in the whenever semester, the next semester or whatever. So yeah, the exams are quite important because you do not want to fail. Um, but it's not the end of the world as well because you can always do the unit again if it's a call or if it's not a call then do another unit um, But you'd rather not fail because who would want to do another unit again and um, Yeah, but also don't don't feel too pressured because failing is pretty normal heaps of people fail all the time You just don't want to because it could make your year longer like your uni life longer, but you can also take summer units um, so yeah, don't, don't worry too much. Okay, so next, do you meet guys? Smirky face. Okay. Oh, funny question. Um, yes, of course you do. Okay, uni is, is co-ed, but, um, what, Jennifer? <laughs> what? <laughs> guys and girls. Uh, guys and girls. Okay, for girls. Oh, actually, no, you guys can, all right, whatever. <laughs> meeting <laughs> Okay, anyway, um okay, so meeting other people potential partners. That's the that's a what's it called? A general term. Okay. Meeting potential partners, if you will say. Um of course you do. Um it's a if you go to events or parties, then yeah, of course. Um and you're more likely to make friends with them because you're in a social environment. But at uni, a lot of people are very open to making friends straight away. Look, this is me talking about friends, but come on, friends leads to more if you want to, okay? So I'm just going to generalize it as making friends. So yeah, in the first week or two, even like the first semester basically, everyone's still trying to make friends. You know, um, tr still trying to like settle down, whatever. So everyone's in the same boat. And generally, you're put into groups in your tutorials as well, so that's where you make friends as well. Um, and if you're very confident and you see someone cute, then you walk up to them and you can say hi <laughs> if you want to, or um, I don't know, use up use a pickup line or something like, oh no, not even a pickup line. You can be like, oh, do you know where this building is? Or you can be like, oh, are you? Because if they if you think that they are in your class, you can just be like. Oh, are you doing this class or are you doing this course and then you know get it rolling there's people everywhere like literally there's so many people at uni and of course you, you can meet new people it depends on your confidence level and if you're going to those social events and you're willing to go and say hi or they say hi to you it depends but of course you do what clubs should I join okay um for me I feel like first year is still a chill year 
you just need to make, make friends, I feel, and just settle down and whatever. Like, So I feel like just join the social club. Are uh, there a lot of parties? There sure are. Firstly, there's heaps of clubs, so of course there's heaps of parties on. Um, yeah, there's heaps of parties. Uh, okay, and how should I balance work and party? <laughs> okay, um, basically, if you don't have any work due, then go out and party. Um, it's it's be simple, really, and yeah, that's how you should balance it. I mean, if you have an assignment due the next day, or you have homework that you have not done and it's due the next day, then you probably should rethink going to that party. I mean, there's heaps of parties, so you don't, it doesn't matter if you miss that one. Don't have the, what's it called, FOMO, fear of missing out. So, guys, it's not a big deal. Like, it's just a party. Generally, to be honest, I'm kind of sick of the events. Like, they're all the same to me. It's fun in the beginning, but like, first semester, it's pretty fun. But to be honest, like, it's all the same. So, I feel like you guys should prioritize work. But yeah, it's just, if you have something due the next day, or if you think that you don't have enough time to complete that essay, like it's due in two days and you have a party and you're like, oh, should I go? Well, you might have to rethink going to that party because you might not be able to finish that essay in that one day or whatever. So yeah, uh, that is all the questions so, that I got. You know how, um, yes, you know how <laughs> I'm going to uni? Yeah. Um, and I'm still 17 because I turned 18, like, <laughs> yeah. a month into uni. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you reckon I should do? 